Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about seven types of content upgrades you can try today. So content upgrades, just a quick refresher. These are the, you can use a lead box or you can use uh, whatever email tool you want just to offer people some kind of, uh, you know, freebie. Let's say it's a PDF, for example, um, that they can download that's related to the post that they're reading. And the idea behind a content upgrade is that if you're offering them something relevant where they put in their email in exchange for whatever you're giving, uh, the conversion rates are going to go up. So, you know, for myself personally, I found that sometimes when I add content upgrades, my conversion rates shoot up from 1% to, you know, 15 to 20%. And this is for an email collection. So content upgrade number one uh, that you can try is a downloadable checklist. So let's say, you know, Neil has a post on, you know, it's a complete, you know, beginner's guide to SEO. I'm only going to cover the, the big important points that, you know, people need to remember in this checklist. Maybe it's a 10 step checklist and then people can, you know, swipe that and then, you know, put in their email address to, to get access for later. So that's the, the first one. It's because checklists are really easy to look at and people just like to take templates, especially marketers, and just start to go do something with them. Yeah, number two, and it's kind of similar to number one, it's a cheat sheet. Um, think of a checklist, but something that is a bit more actionable and it tells them how to accomplish the main goals and concepts within the blog post that they read. Works extremely well. And keep in mind, if you're doing content upgrades right and you have a really compelling offer, for all the emails that you collect on your site, content upgrades should account for roughly half of all of your email collection. All right. So number three, you can put together, and this one's really simple, you can use a tool called Designer. So it's, this is spelled design and two R's. Uh, at the at the end, there's no e. So designer uh, or designer, we'll, we'll just pronounce it that way, designer. And then uh, you can take the blog posts, basically convert it into an, a nice looking PDF. So that saves you a lot of time. It's it's a more basic version because sometimes you know people like to let's say for example this podcast people like to just you know read the transcripts right. Um, I know for myself, I'll personally never read the transcript, but sometimes people just like to have you know a blog post sitting uh, you know in you know in their let's say in in one of their folders. But that one, I will say the conversion rates are lower because basically you're just giving them um, what they already have read. So just keep that in mind, but it still does increase the conversion rate. Number four, your content upgrades don't have to just be content. Send them to something that's more educational. So one way that I get uh, emails and I convert those visitors into sales is some of my content upgrades are relevant webinars. So if that post is, let's say, on content marketing, I may send them to a webinar that they can register for that's related to content marketing. Creates a ton of opt-in and I generate sales from it. Works extremely well. You don't collect as many emails compared to just giving away a cheat sheet, but you're also generating revenue at the same time, so it makes up for it. Number five, so email course. So what you can do, you know, if you look at uh, Neil or myself, we have so much content sitting out there, and a lot of the stuff that we have is evergreen. So if we wanted to make, let's say, an SEO kind of 11-day course, um, basically have people subscribe into a campaign where we just keep, keep giving them our best content related to one subject, we can do that. So if someone's reading something on content marketing, Give them an 11 day or seven day content marketing course. Same thing with SEO, same thing with paid advertising. Um, you can do that because all the work has been done already and you're going to, not everybody has, you know, most people aren't going to see, the, you know, the, the gems that you've put together in the past. So for you to curate them adds additional value. Number six, whatever blog posts they're reading, there's probably further reading and next steps they can do. So for example, if your article is on, uh, beginner SEO tips, your content upgrade could be related to intermediate or advanced SEO tips. And we found that to work really well. So instead of just regurgitating the content with cheat sheets, checklists, etc., giving them the next thing that they should be reading, assuming they like what they read, that converts extremely well. And when you're doing these content upgrades, one thing we didn't mention is you ideally want to have it in the top first few paragraphs within your blog post. It converts the best there. And also restate the content upgrade towards the bottom of your post as well. Great. And then one thing I'm going to add, this is kind of an alternate to doing a webinar like Neil's mentioning, but you can put a video launch sequence. So those of you that aren't familiar with the launch sequence, check out Jeff Walker's product launch. Uh, you can check out, I think he has a YouTube channel as well, but putting a video launch sequence as well, that's evergreen where you can basically say, you know, you have a four launch 
uh, sequence talking about, okay, you know, you give them some additional value, give them some additional value, and then you talk about the product that you have in maybe the third or fourth video. That does work well. Um, you know, it, it's a good complement to the the webinar if you don't want to just do a webinar, if you want to just have something kind of, you know, sitting there. And you can also, for the webinar, you can do a live one or you can do a kind of evergreen webinar as well using a tool like EverWebinar. One more thing before we go, this week we're giving away five annual copies of Ahrefs, which is our favorite SEO tool. All you need to do, all you need to do to enter, I should say, is to subscribe, rate, and review our podcast, which is huge. And then make sure that you text marketing school, that's one word, to 33444. Once again, that's marketing school, one word, to 33444. And then we will confirm a winner. Neil, anything else to add? That's pretty much it. Keep in mind when we're doing these promos and giving away free tools, we don't get paid for this. This isn't a sponsorship. We're just working with industry tools and you know people within the industry to figure out how we can give you guys, our listeners, more of the stuff that we use for free. Because it's like if you guys are here listening to this podcast, trying to grow your business, we're going to do whatever we can to help you just go that extra mile so that way you do succeed. So enter the contest, rate and review the podcast. We really do appreciate it. And if you happen to win one of those free copies of Atrus, you will be happy. It's a tool both Eric and I use multiple times a day. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.